Hey guys, welcome back to Robert's Rebellion. We are the Royalist side. I'm joined by Jackie Fish, who is the Mad King, and Chief Jeronka, who is playing the gorgeous Mace Sorrell. <laughs> he is attractive. <laughs> Very attractive. Um, obviously, I'm Burton, and we are playing as the Lannisters. So, uh, what happened in episode one, boys? I think they did a bit of running, didn't they? Yeah, they yeah. ran away. Rob ran with his tail between his legs onto his boats and... To his boyfriend, Eddard Stark. <laughs> yeah, so I'll tell the guys we are ready. We've gone ahead and done our intro. Uh, for those of you who are watching who are not aware, both sides are on two different Skype calls. So just make sure that you're checking out both sides of the battles. If you want to support the rebellion, well, you know, that, that's your problem. We're, we're loyal to the crown, though, on this yeah. side. So here we go. Where are we going with these uh, 4,000 men that I have in the storm? Lines? Oh, I think he might be trying to besiege King's Landing. He's bringing his 80 ships up. Yeah, he's getting his men yeah. off. He's going into uh, uh, Rosby. That's fine. With the rest Don't of worry. his men. We'll bring ours up. Connington's coming. I'm right behind him at 4,000. My 17,000 are arriving. They're going to take out the uh, Tullys. My other, other 16,000 are way lagging behind. I got 10,000 men. Come right. On. I need to see about. Uh... Nice. Yeah. So if uh, you if the reach sends some men to Storm's End and just start sieging it, I think you won't yeah, need. Yeah, I will send six thousand. And right. the Dornish are coming as well. Not a chance for the Greyjoys. What you reckon? You want me to try uh, Runestone? They will say yes. Uh, d um, give it a go if you think it's. Um, and I'm gonna block off the five thousand men. Going for it. Are you gonna get them before they get me? No, okay, cool. So you have there to we go. So march Don't in, worry. move the men as well from Brands Fort into the battle as well. Nice. And the men from King's, King's Landing. Landing, nice. The first main engagement. Yeah, people. this is gonna be one big battle. As long as as long as Rhaegar just... holds off, we should be perfectly fine. Greenstone have uh, accepted the patrol. I don't know whether they'll switch sides up. Twenty-six thousand. Nice. We should be pouring in now and wreck them. It's just cost me a lot of money. That Ho hopefully they'll join up. Mm -hmm. I've sent over my diplomat as well. Right, I'm gonna start sieging Storm's End then. But they still got five thousand men down there. So Don't worry. We'll be, be aware that this isn't the majority of their troops. This is just yeah. the first. Yeah, I know. Start. I know. But it's majority of ours. So we have to be somewhat yeah. conservative. I mean, we still I'm have the Dornish coming as well. So. Yep. I've got my reinforcements here. In fact, let's take them out quickly. I don't have any reinforcements. This is my army. This is nice. what I we got. crushed them. Does someone want to chase them? Um, I mean, I I'm I can easily chase them because uh, I have an organizer. I've got my Lannister army, North Advanta. Oh, yeah, cool. See so if you just cut off any escapes. Yeah. And uh, Cape Wrath has just... Uh... Oh, we've got Stark army if you see them. Yeah. 15,000. All right. There we are, victory, the first one of the war, boys. Nice. I'm going to try and hit this force of Aaron, 8,000 of them. I don't know why they're just standing there. And the okay, Dornish are here as well. Nice. Um, right, we need to take out the uh, nice. men of the crossing. Oh, they're running now. If we can catch any of them, that'll be good. Yeah, yeah, I've caught the Arons. Nice. Here we are. Battle of Butterhall, we should take this. They've got reinforcements sitting on the side doing nothing, and it's actually just stopped the north as well at Darry. Nice. Yeah, once once we've cleaned up all these small small armies, don't continue to push forward. Oh, just reinforcements have joined in. Just just kind of sit, sit back a bit. I'll, I'll send, I'm setting men now. I'll put an organizer at the front as well, so we should get there a little bit quicker. Yeah. They've sent it in someone else. Dawn. Okay, they got 5,000 men on the ships in Dawn the Sea of Eastermont. Okay, cool. That, that's fine, though. We don't really have to worry too much about that. Like, as long as we keep our forces alive in good engagements, we'll be fine. There yeah, we go. Just worry that's about good. my capital. Yeah, but if they try and siege, like, one of our capitals, we can always just, um, you know, lift the siege at some point after dealing damage to their armies. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. My men should be arriving in your battle very soon. You also have 16k men just sitting to the left of it if you want to send them Yeah, in. I saw that. I've just had them moving, but I was going to stop them. I'm trying I'm to educate my kids, by the way. <laughs> Why can I not okay. stop my men? 
Uh oh, I might have lost control of my armies there. Uh, um, they're going on rampage. <laughs> oh, we got Gold Town on our side. Yeah, I'm trying to get the Royces on, but I don't think it's working. Yeah, maybe you can get the crossing in. Oh no, they already joined against us. Yeah, we just slaughtered their armies. Nice, this is going well. I like this. We need to keep an eye out because we've not seen many of the others, so I'm not going to waste troops besieging. Well, I'm going to besiege Storm's Yeah, I think besieging Storm's End is fine, but just doing small ones isn't really worth it. Yeah. I'm going to get my troops back to friendly territory and uh, try and get us back together. Even them out. I'm going to go for Dari. Oh, no, I'm not, actually. Uh, don't go, yeah, don't go mad. Like me. Yeah. Well, I like to uh, defend in, like, good territory. Possibly. Where's my... Oh, my army just joined that battle. Yeah, I've well, we... just we've... lost 15,000. They, they must have just joined that one. Yeah, they probably have. So many armies in this. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, they cool. have. Now just, very now, just, now just split up again, um, because we obviously don't want to be suffering attrition or anything. Where are you going? Um... Really? Yeah. I'm going to So's Horn. There you go. Or whatever uh, that's called. And there you are already. Yeah, I was already made it. Excellent. Right. I'm going to even up my armies again. I might suggest that you guys uh, do There's Shoreham, 2,000 men. You want to go for them? 2,000 Riverlanders? Um, All right, maybe not. Keep an eye. Them boats are back up again. Stormlander fleet. They've just been up to Maidenpool. Yeah, it's 5,000 men. Is that it? Right, okay. Yeah, that's, that's it. I watched them. Uh, do you guys want to start up setting like a, maybe like a, a siege line or something? We can maybe uh, blockade from Harren Hall to to Derry and just kind of yeah. sit along here. Like if we if we take the well, the river uh, at the at the, the Trident, crossing. yeah. If yeah. we just don't actually push across the river, but if we just control our side of the river, and if they want to engage us, then they they can. But if we do go, we need to make sure we all go like as as one. So if they if they do engage us, we can fight them. So maybe go from uh, Lin Linster, or whatever, however you pronounce that, um, the <laughs> one next to Stonehenge, to maybe Derry. And then we have yeah. like that entire river kind of under our control, hopefully. Might be an idea. Harrenhal's got the God's Eye as well. Yeah. So if we set one army in front of Harrenhal, uh, Lord Haraway's town, is that what you're saying? Um, hold on, I'm actually just figuring out how do they have more men than us right now? Uh, yeah, I th pretty much think so. We have yeah, and the Dornish are standing with 10,000 men in Blackhaven. Yeah, I think maybe we just don't do that. We we, we siege out uh, Storm's End, we take Storm's End, and then maybe we... It's take a while, though. Yeah, how long do you think? Well, it's 8,000. So but, if we just buy our time, don't get into any heavy engagements. Yeah, because, Storm's because, End's because really, they're only taking minor provinces. Like They're not taking anything of, of significant value, whereas we're taking their leader's capital. So... Yeah. No, that's that's good. That sounds like a plan, indeed. So maybe, yeah, just kind of like fall back a little bit to King's Landing. Just kind of, yeah, as we, as we are now is fine. We can even move on to the border if we wanted to. I'm only going to kill these 2,000 Riverlanders. Excellent. Oh, sounds good. There you go. Can I catch them? 20 years? Yeah. One one day, four day. Nice. Good. No, they're, they're just holding off there. They're just gathering. <clears throat> Where did they go? Riverlands just disappeared. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Oh, are. Eskaroth. Okay. It's 2,000 men gone right there. Yeah, that's good. I'm actually going to look at the ledger and see who's got more men, men right now. Yeah, it might be an idea. Is there any alliances that we could possibly make? Oh. No, I don't have any kids. Paradox is in jail. Oh, you've got him. Ares, you've got you've got Paradox. Oh really? In prison. Yeah. Wow. John Aaron. Well, we must have captured him in battle when we had that big engagement because he was involved oh, in that. Nice. Yeah, keep him imprisoned. I shall teach him. Should I blind him or torture him? Uh, yeah, definitely. Should I torture? Just don't uh, release him. Yeah, so I think torturing him would be good. Yeah. Oh, my uncle is not married. Oh, that might actually. I'll blind him first, because torturing reduces his health, and I don't want to kill him, like, somehow. Or should I castrate him? I think castrate cast him and send him back. Oh. 
ransom him after castrate. Oh no, it releases him automatically, doesn't oh, it? Oh really? Crap. Yeah, I oh, think so. Oh, oh well, he's a unique. I think it was worth it. Brilliant. All right, so we're just standing around. Yeah, we're just waiting. Um, I think we should start. So, how long have you got left on Storm's End? Oh, it's it's yeah. it's ridiculous. It's gonna take another year for sure. Is it? Um, okay, that's yeah. fine. It's it's. It's going down by 3%, uh, the morale, but it's at 60, 62%, so it's going to take a, a while. What are the Dornish doing? I'm going to keep scouting about with my navy. Hopefully I can see something. Blackhaven just joined us. Excellent. Yeah, that was nice, cause, especially because the Dornish were besieging it. I think this is fine, what we're doing, because we're winning the war at the moment. We don't have any need to engage them after the battles we've yeah. won. Yeah. And even even though they're sieging quite a few stuff, like it's not really going to be that bad. And that also, also the, the fact that they've just moved across the uh, trident means we don't have to attack them over a river. So that's kind of letting them push forward yeah. into our lands is kind of smart by us. We are smart. <laughs> well, I'm mad. I'm going to spread my troops out a little bit here. We're still in river territories. Yeah. But I just want to make sure this side that the god's eyes covered. Right, they've got 10,000 in Derry. They're kind of cut off. We could probably take them. Well, no. There's uh, 12,000 salt pans. Yeah, there's loads of people behind them. And because they they won't get the river uh, uh, demodifier either, because they're already defending in Derry, unfortunately. Yeah. That's fine. I, I think I think just sitting around is fine. You gaining some money. Are you still making money in the Westerlands? No, I'm out. I had to give. I'm 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 crawling back now. Minus one hundred forty-five because oh, I gave want, a uh, gift to Runestone to try and get him over, but I don't think it's working. I can send you a gift. My diplomat's over there. Oh, two hundred seventy gold. I might be able to send you gifts rather soon. Oh, that'd be good if you could, mate. Much appreciated. Yeah. I need. 20 gold though. Oh, I just tabbed out. I hate it when I do that. Right, so, so oh, far. Right. Never mind. What happened to um, the uh, John Aaron? <laughs> did he die? I don't know. Yeah, apparently. So, did you oh. castrate Danies? Yeah, I did. I castrated him and sent him back on his way. But what happened to. Uh, John. Look, his current character is a, a eunuch. He was slain by Sir Mark of Lion Breast in personal combat. Nice. <laughs> Paradox always do that. does that. He always dies in battle. <laughs> Against his sons or oh, whoever. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, the morale is at 44% in Storm's End. Yeah, it is, it's a slow process, but I think it will, you know, it's worth it. Will it will take a while. And then we but have the, our 10,000 men to come reinforce us. Um, Burton, you you have thirty thousand men. They're kind of cut off, and they have northerners northerners coming at you. What the thirteen thousand? Yeah. yeah, in Mossboro, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'll bring them over. <gasps> well, but no. they're coming now. It doesn't matter. I've got my other army right across the river. Maybe I should go to Bramsford or Byford, and uh, not stand in Rosby. I just set up the line. We're, essentially, we're just biding time until you can take care of Storm's End. It's going to take a while. Doesn't matter. I mean, the way they're pushing, they're going to take a while. Well, I mean, look, all you have to do is really take the, the major castle and then kind of leave it, because that will give us a fair amount of war score anyway, just taking the first but wouldn't castle. would it be better if we, if we stay in Bramsford and King's Landing <laughs> for the river crossing? They've just executed Jerry and Lannister. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do if you, if if you want. Just we to can get a better back. defensive bonus. Yeah, let's just fall back then a little bit, just to cross the river. Because they can't take anything. Where are we falling back to? Um, uh, King's King's Landing, 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 Brands Fort. Yeah. And Byfort, yeah. All right. And also, the fact that they're, they're sieging everything, they're wasting men on sieges, like they're, they suffer penalties I through take sieging. I 7,000 stack. Um, um, maybe they want us to. But I mean, it's the AI, what? so... I guess we can go for it. Yeah, no, let's go for it. Let's see if Aaron moves in the veil. I'll yeah, I'm bring across my other people just to cover it, just in case. Yeah. Oh, the Dornish. 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 Oh. Huzzah. Nice. Where are they? We have 14,000 just chilling. It's annoying I can't like set a goal for them or something to go do. It's a shame, yeah. 
Yeah, they're not really doing much. They're just letting us take it, which is fine. But yeah, storm, Storm's End is at 30%. That's fine. Keep it at that. There we go. We've got some uh, dirty northerners making their way. It that, looks like they're yeah, going into Pendrick Hills. They're going into my property. That's, yeah, that's fine, though. Anything. Yeah, they're so separated from the rest of our army now. Like, if they go to siege, um, what, uh, Castle Rock, then yeah. they've just sent we'll 7,000. Like yeah. if, the, if they do go into the West of the land, I've got about 2,000 men I can pull up in different areas, so I can just make it really frustrating for them. Nice, yeah. nice. And, like, like this is going to be really nice fighting in Harren Hall as well, because once we've taken out um, Storm's End, we can then kind of just envelop them around, like, we send one army left and one army right and just engage yeah, them Yeah, but I'm going to stitch sides. it down all the way, like, oh, everything. Okay. You, okay, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. We have time on our side, really. Yeah, because yeah, uh, otherwise it, it, the garrison's not big. Yeah, big. we're at 28% now, nice. I'm going to frustrate this army. Yeah, Castle Rock is uh, that has a very high defensive. Yeah, it would take them ages to take that. Yeah, They're foot fast. level of 18. It's like Harren Hall. Let's not bother them. Nice. Some more so, people yes, in the Stormlands. And uh, Cape Raft just came on our side as well, which is really good. Good, good. They've got like another 3,000 men. It looks like the Northmen are uh, they're all heading over now. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Know. I don't know. I'm oh, tempted. That, that, it's uh... Robert who's in Harren Hall. And yeah. And he got the fail with Derry. Him. I think we should take on Derry. I'm gonna. Oh, actually, you guys could do that. I, I can know. guard King's Landing. Wait, wait until they start. They're heading. The Northmen are heading over to Castle Rock. Wait until they start, and then we should go for the Saren army in Darren. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait, wait till that then 10,000 men like maybe reach to uh, the Golden Tooth, and then as soon as they hit it, we just start attacking. We just throw everyone at them. Yeah. Because even even, even Robert's going, so that's good. I'm going over Rossby, Duskendale, and the Maiden Pool, and then this way. Okay, cool. Right, I'm heading up to our lot. They've got wind. They're all moving. That's um, fine. That's fine. I'll stop then. Move to Marsboro. He's moving... Oh, there's Riverlands again. Jesus Christ. They just have, like, infinite men. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys are taking a lot of attrition there. Yeah, yeah I know. I see I'm that. trying to move out. And Storm's End is about to fall. Nice. Stannis did not do too good of a job this time. Oh, I'm a poor fighter now. And I'm no more idle. Catch some frays on the row, on the run. Yeah, try try to stay somewhat close together though. Don't don't split yeah. up too much. No, I'm keeping my armies within arms reach of each other. I'm taking uh taking Darry back. The supply as well in the Westlands is awful, like in the northern part, so hopefully they'll take some attrition soon. Nah, they're not taking they they have small uh, armies. Ah, uh, smart. But yeah, as soon as my eleven thousand guys are coming back. I can send them somewhere. The Maybe uh, distract. Yeah, that would be good. I just don't understand what the Dornish are doing. Oh, my wife died of depression. Time oh. to see if there's any great joy children to marry. And look at Storm's End. It's about to fall. Two more months. Or two more weeks, actually. Alright, so just see Jane the Rock. That's fine. Tywin's not there. Okay. They're all pushing over, though. We can actually reclaim some of this land. Yeah, but you got to be careful, though. Yeah, I've split my troops, so I'm not hitting attrition. Dario will be ours in a minute. And Storm's End will fall in a couple of days. Nice. There we go, we got Dari back. Yep, there it is. Storm's nice. End. Ha 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 ha. Nice, well done. Uh, Robert's moving uh, men along the Riverlands border, so careful with your 10,000 men. Yeah, I'm gonna in. go to yeah. King's Landing. Retreat. And I got my other troops, uh, I got ships. 
Uh, so you, I can just quickly yeah, pick him up. That's cool. You might want to be careful in Lord's uh, Harry's town because they're moving a load of men. Like they could just yeah. in surround you, maybe because we're a little bit too far away. It's all right. I'll pull back to Darit. Yeah, that's cool. Like I say, I've got my two support armies there. Is that the end of the episode? I think so. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, we, this is going so yeah, fast. Yeah, 20 minutes again. Well, that's another episode done, and uh, it looks like my home, my hometown of the Rock is under siege. It Will is. we go and help? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Storm's End is giving us 30% war score yeah. right now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. That's <laughs> we keep teaching that. Yes. Nice. Fantastic. Okay, that's us done on the outro. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.